Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. See, God don't leave nobody out. Right. I'm so glad that in the text, Jesus gave everybody our invitation. Right. Turn to Matthew 11, 28, 29, and 30. And I'm going to use some cross-reference to let you know when Jesus makes a promise, he keeps it. Yeah, he does. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, the, pro the problem is not him. The problem is us. Every promise that he makes, he keeps it. You know why? Because he can't lie. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Boy, if I had many times people done promised me this and promised me that. Not that they, they, they don't want to do it, but a lot of times we can be hindered. Amen. You know what stopped God from blessing you? Unbelief. <laughs> Unbelief. Unbelief. Everybody in here we started out with a same amount of faith. That's right. Come on. And if you don't exercise what Jesus said by faith and obedience, you know we'll get peace. And it's right here in this book. Hallelujah, somebody. This is the first message that I preached when I started to preach it. It was on New Year's Eve night. And I believe it was in 1990-something before Reverend John died. I had never got up before that many people. So that's why I said, you better depend on the Lord. Amen. Everybody saw me sweating, talking about living the Holy Ghost. No, that was nerve. Ain't no sense of me telling that lie. Lord, I said, I had a heavy load, but the Lord yeah. took me through. Yes, see, because I put my mind on him and that's took my mind off did. of the problem. And see, this is what our problem is. We put our mind on the problem instead of putting our mind on the problem solved. And in the text, they'll tell you who it is. Now, watch what Jesus said now. Now, your Bible might read a little different from mine. So, King James, uh, Charles Stanley, he don't use many references, but he tell it like it is. Now, verse 28, he said, now, this is the invitation. This is what Jesus said, he, because it's in the red in most Bibles. He said, Come to me. Come to me. Matthew 11, 28. He said, come to me, all you who labor and are what? Heavy labor, and I will give you rest. That's a promise. Hallelujah, somebody. And he keeps every promise. You know who failed? The one that don't believe it. Hallelujah. Then he don't stop there. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I'm gentle and lowly and hard, and you will find rest for your soul. That's another promise. Hallelujah, somebody. Then he said, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, God don't put no more on you than you can bear. Amen. And you're not in it by yourself. That's why I use that, that song of heavy load. Amen. Hallelujah. So I don't care what your problem is. It's nothing too hard for him. Nothing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, when he said come, he didn't just say some. He said all. Oh, that's right. All mean all. You ain't got to be saved for this. But this will lead you to get saved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you got to come. Oh. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. And see, some folks think that, that Jesus is only for good. No, he come to save bad folks. Because we all was born sinners except him. And thank God. Thank God for Jesus. He, see, see, listen here. I hear a lot of folks talking about, oh, Lord, I'm having so hard. You know why you're having a heart? Because you yoked up with the wrong thing. You know what a yoke is? A wooden frame that the farmer would use to hook up two oxen. Put them together. To pull that load. So now here Jesus said, Yoke up with me. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Yeah. He ain't going to put no heavy load on you. God don't give you no heartache. <laughs> he don't give you no pain. He give you peace. That's right. But you got to come. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. somebody. You don't come. Nobody fought but you. Yeah. I don't. And see, do we do? We listen to the wrong people. You know what I was going through? You know what people used to tell me? Hey, man, all you need is another rank. <laughs> And I took their word. And I got worse. Okay. Jesus had come to me. 
and he ain't tell you to get no rank or nothing. Mm -mm. He said, come to me. And that's what we got to learn. You got to be careful when you're going through things in your life, mm -hmm. who you're getting advice from. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. And some of those buddy buddies think they know. Child, this is what I did. I ain't talking about you. This is me. True. Huh? <laughs> Every problem is different. Everybody's different. That's true. Hallelujah, somebody. Jesus know your heart. Yeah. He know everything about you. That's who you want to go to. Somebody that can keep the promise. All we got to learn to do is come. Hallelujah. So now, reason why I sell to that, see a lot of people go, oh, Lord, he ain't answered my prayer yet. Hey, you know why? <laughs> you got to see your faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. He keeps his promise. I don't care what nobody say. Now, I'm going to show you in the Bible that God don't lie. Mm. Jesus don't lie. Mm. Man lie. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. Hallelujah. Come on. Turn to Hebrews. I'm going to just work it this way. I used to hoop it, but I'm going to teach it. Hebrews 6, 18, 19, and 20. So, see, see, this is Jesus. See, now, Jesus gave you an invitation. He's the only one can fulfill it. Okay. Hallelujah. But you got to want it. He ain't going to make it. And all the money in the world came by this. And a lot of people think, if I had a few more dollars, child, I'd be up now you want. Mm -mm. See, all the peace and joy come from him that lasts. That's it. Hallelujah. <laughs> and a lot of folks got money, but they ain't got no joy. That's right. They ain't got no peace. Amen. Hallelujah, because they're going to the wrong source. Yeah. I, I know I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And I ain't the only one. He come to lift that burden. Hallelujah. That's why he said, come to me. He didn't tell you to go to nobody. Come to me. He didn't say, go ask your best friend. Come to me. Hallelujah. Now watch it what the Bible say. Don't be worried about what all them other folks talk about my opinion. Don't y'all, this is what the book say. <laughs> now you believe it or you don't believe it. What the Bible say. Now some people try to say this was Paul. I don't know who it was. I know it's Jesus. I know it's the Holy Spirit, the author of the mm -hmm. whole book. This is what the Bible said, that by two immutable things in which it is impossible. You see that? Impossible for God to do what? To lie. To lie. It's Im it, see, he can't lie. If he is a liar, we all going to hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? He said it's impossible for God to lie. We might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold on the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, in which is the present behind the veil, where the forerunner has entered for us. Even Jesus has become high priest forever according to the order of male Kesedet. That's just, this is our joy. This is our peace. Yeah. Is in him. He made a promise and he can't lie. That's right. The only reason That's why you don't get it, you don't come. Hey. Huh? You don't come. Hey. Ain't no sense you going to tell nobody else about all your problems. Tell Jesus first. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. You got to be careful when you're going through things in life, who you're talking to. And most of it is a family member. Hallelujah, somebody. Somebody close to you. If they don't introduce you to Jesus, you better leave it alone. Amen. Come to him. He said, come to me. Yeah. He didn't say some. He said all. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. See, a lot of folks think ain't nobody going through no problem but them. <laughs> Looks is very deceiving. Yeah, it is. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know you can look at your face and tell when you're happy and you tell when you're sad. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But see, God knows the heart. Yes, he does. He the only one knows the heart. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, right. somebody. Sure. Hallelujah. Yeah. But see, everybody in here want peace, don't you? That's right. Amen. He ain't tell you to go to no drugstore to get no load of tabs. <laughs> Come on with me. I'm just telling you. I've been there. Hallelujah. <laughs> he ain't tell you to go get nothing for pain. Mm -hmm. He the pain solver. Hallelujah. He said, come to me. 
And I know I'm right about that. There's a whole lot of people know better. They still got pain. They ain't got no peace. They ain't got no joy. Because he get to see the joy that he gives is last. It's the same old song. This joy I have, the world didn't give it to me. Hallelujah. And the world can't take it away. It can't. Because okay. you know why? You trust in him. That's right. Hallelujah. God is not a ending you give it. He don't give and take it back. Thank you. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you. you listen. <laughs> Listen, and you know what our problem is? It's in your head. What you got your mind on? I'm talking to you right now. I don't know where your mind is, but Jesus do. I don't know what you're thinking about. Hallelujah, but he do. But the Bible said, I'm going to show you scripture. See, I back it up with the word. And I'm going to quote it before I go to it. The Bible said, keep your mind stay." Uh -huh. On your pastor? Uh -oh. no. yeah. On him. Yeah. Well, who is him? Christ. Uh -huh. See, now that's the problem, see. He didn't say keep your mind on your problem. He said keep your mind on him. Now, I'm going to tell you where you can read it if you don't know it. Isaiah 26, 3. Hallelujah. That's where it's at. Uh, that's the problem. Well, you got your mind. See, most of the time, we walk around our mind on our problems. Then you put right. your mind on the problem solver. Jesus right. said, I am. I am. Oh, I'm a hard fixer, I'm a mind yeah, regulator. Yeah. Nothing too hard for him. He healed all your diseases. Yeah. He forgave all your iniquity. Yeah. He give you joy when there is no joy. Yes, sir. He make a way out of nowhere. Yeah, he will. He, I'm yeah. telling you, Jesus. Is the answer to all your problems. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Stop going to bed at night crying and going, what good that? Crying ain't going to solve no problems. Jesus. If you broke, you're still broke. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you better call on the one who owns everything. Everything is his. Hallelujah, somebody. And when you know these things that Jesus can't lie, he don't lie, he won't lie, mm. all you got to do is take him by faith. Take his word. Yes, Walk in it. Because the devil trying to talk to you right now. Do you see that? Yeah. Rebuke him in the name of Jesus. That's right. There you go. Don't use your name. Don't, don't. use mine. Come on. And this, this is what the book said. I'm just a vessel for the Lord. Thank you. I'm, I'm the message carrier. Thank you. Hallelujah. I can't move your problem. But Jesus can. Yes, he can. But you got to want it. I don't know how bad you want it. Hallelujah, somebody. Go on. I seen a young man died on the football field. Mm. But look what the Lord did. Hallelujah. Raised him up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But now, see now, see a lot of people think that, that, that God, you know, you know God had people's dad to help him. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right now. Still. Yeah. Why you think he put us here? Mm -hmm. Help us. We 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 feast for him. Mm -hmm. We eyes for him. We mock for him. Mm -hmm. God ain't going to come and talk to you like me. Yeah. But he speak to your spirit all the time. Yeah. But you're not listening because you know why? You listen to the flesh more than you the spirit. Yeah. Don't you know all your problems have been solved in the spirit realm? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Hallelujah. Yeah. But we stay so much in the natural because all we are to. Yes, sir. I don't feel this. I don't feel, well, my foot hurting too, but I just get something put on and keep going. Thank in the name you. of Jesus. Why you think he put it here? Yeah. Now I know Jesus don't need that. But some people have to have these things. Mm -hmm. I thank God for all the things that he then gave me and enough knowledge to come up with to help us. Amen. But God is the source. Yes, sir. Don't never forget it. Amen. He is the source to all, oh, all our yes, problems. Yes, Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Amen. When I find this out, I used to worry about everything. It wasn't nothing getting better. It was getting worse. All right. And you knew who it was killing? Me. Because mm -hmm. I didn't go to the right source. That's right. it. Glory. This is it right here, this book here. But you got to mix it with faith. Amen. Get in it, meditate on it. Now watch yeah. it. Now turn to Isaiah 26. I see, look, listen. I want you to get this because it's for everybody in here. Don't think because you said you ain't got no problem, but they're right around the corner. <laughs> you, you, think, you, think, you think, you think, you think, 
think the devil's going to leave you alone? Mm -hmm. No, he ain't going to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. This is job. Hallelujah. <laughs> but you got to put him in his place. He ain't going to stop coming after you. You know why? See, the Bible already told you, if you read it, study it, why you going through what you're going through. It's not always something you did bad. Most of the time, it's something you did good. Huh? What does Psalm 34, 19 say? The righteous going to do what? Some. How many affliction? Many. Well, how many of you coming out? Oh. Well, who going to bring you out? Oh. All right, Jesus. <laughs> right. Uh, you think you're yeah. something because you're doing bad? No. If you're doing bad, <laughs> why would Satan attack you? You already got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said he he tack you when you leave him and go to Christ. Because he know now nah, I can't do nothing with that sister brother no more. Right. Unless when fear come in. When fear come in, he comes in. Hallelujah. And we got authority over it. God didn't give you a spirit of fear. Right. He give you power, love, and a sound mind. And you gotta understand that. And all the way Satan can come, he makes suggestions. He showed you things. He talked to you. And you got to know who talking. Amen. Hallelujah. Satan do more talking to you than God do. I don't know where he can get in. Amen. He get you to talking. And you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> until you get in this book. Now let's see what Isaiah 26 3 said. Watch it. <clears throat> look, look, look at the book. I'm just reading what in the book. It's the prophet Isaiah. What he said. He said. <laughs> So now this is what he's saying here. Now this talking about song of salvation. God got a strong wall of protection around them. All right. So now watch verse 3. He said, you will keep him in perfect peace. Now who is the you? Christ. See, see, these are, see, these are the things you need to know. Who talking? That's right. You can read some. He ain't talking about the prophet. The prophet saying you will. Talking about the Lord will. That's right. And that's why a lot of people don't understand. They read something and they take it out of contact. I see him talking about what God's going to do, not what he's going to do. Hallelujah. All he did prophesy to hearers. Hallelujah. You would keep him in person peace who mind is on everything but him. Where your mind at? Huh? Where's your mind? That's your problem. That's my problem. The, the solar realm is your mind. And that's the only place Satan can attack. And he talk you, he know how he attack us? He show you something. Like he did Eve. She already was like God. But he, well, he talked to her like she misses her. She didn't miss, wasn't missing nothing. She just didn't know what God had told her husband. And he used her to get him. Don't you know Satan worked the same way today? Satan used the closest thing to you to trap you if you don't know him. Where's your mind? And you know most of us, we watch TV, we watch this, we listen to this, and then you get your mind off of him. If you gonna keep your mind on him, you got to meditate on the word day and night. The word is God. The word is spirit, use spirit. God is a spirit. And you keep focus on that. When Satan trying to get in, you got you got power to pull down those strongholds, because they ain't nothing but thoughts. And they're not lining up with God's word, you cast it down in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now watch it, he said. You would keep him in perfect peace, who mind has stayed on you, because. See, now this ain't going to work if you ain't trusting in it. You see how, how this ends? Huh? Because he trusts in you. Well, who he trusting in? The Lord. God! Who you got your trust in? The Lord. We put more trust in people than we do God. Yeah. Don't you know the Bible says it's better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in man? Yes. Well, he read it every Sunday. In all your ways mm -hmm. <coughs> are not as who? Yeah. The Lord. Because he's going to do what? He's going to direct your path. Mm -hmm. But you got to acknowledge him in all your ways, not some of them. 
Yeah, trust me. This is what, he, this is what the prophet's saying here, talking about God. Because he trusts in you. Then the Bible, fourth verse says, trust in the Lord for how long? Forever. Don't never stop trusting in the Lord. That's right. When you get a little blessing, you know what a lot of folks do? If the Lord doesn't got a bad report from your doctor, and the doctor doesn't did all he could do, then God come along and give you a miracle, then you quit coming to church. You ain't the only one. <laughs> but Jesus already know that. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I don't need church no more. I don't want to hear nothing. Don't even know who the church is. Church ain't no building. The church is you. Mm -hmm. He is in every born again believer by his spirit. Yeah. That's why you can't never get away from him. <laughs> you better thank God he with you everywhere you go. That's right. I know I do. Hallelujah, somebody. Trust in the Lord forever. For in Yahweh, the Lord is what? Everlasting strength. Mm -hmm. He don't ever run out of power. Mm -hmm. He got all power. That's right. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm -hmm. And he takes that power to help you and me if we trust him. Hallelujah. I'm so glad I found this out because I was a worrier. I didn't know no better. And I'm blaming God for everything. Now, sometimes God will allow things to happen like he did Job. But see, Job didn't know what was going on. And Job admitted later on the things he feared came upon him. See, when fear come in, Satan gets in. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know what? How Satan gets in? A lot of folks now hearing on the news about the virus, but they got a new name for it now. <laughs> but it's the same thing. <laughs> huh? And a lot of folks, I see a lot of folks right now wearing that mask again. I wore the mask still yeah. caught it. <laughs> Only thing somebody can stop me from getting it is Jesus. Yeah, true. He said it in his word. He said he healed all. That's right. Not some of them. Mm -hmm. Now you either believe it or don't believe it. See, when, when doubt come in, fear come in, Jesus, Jesus can't help you that. Because he didn't give you a spirit of fear. He gave you power, love, and a sound mind. And we got to understand that. God's word is true whether you believe it or not. It ain't gonna change. No, it ain't gonna change. <laughs> now you know what else was putting problem on those on those people who just came to heavy load. See them Pharisees and stride, they had all them rules and regulations on them. Cause they were still in the see in the Matthew, Mark, Luke, they were still on the law. And they were putting all them heavy burden on them people. Turn to Matthew's 24th chapter. So you need to know these things, 23rd chapter regular, and see how what the people's going through it. And we going through the same thing now if you don't know no better. <laughs> but thank God Jesus came and fixed it for us. If you were born again, see all this was under the law here, the gospel. He was talking about the law. But Jesus came, he fulfilled all of that. You ain't got to do all that stuff. They couldn't keep it either. But they was telling the folks, you had to do this, you had to do that. That's why a lot of folks, <laughs> a lot of folks don't, don't come to church now because people don't scare them. You got to do this. You can't wear this. You can't do this. You can't. That's almost the law. Hallelujah. And you know, you know on the Sabbath day, if them people picked up sticks on the Sabbath day, they could stone them. That was out of the law. Couldn't touch nothing dead. You better be glad we ain't honor that. <laughs> but this was Jesus was teaching them. <coughs> they load on them people. Heavy burden. Hallelujah. Because they knew they <laughs> but see Jesus, they tried to whoop Jesus with that. Jesus had an answer for them. It's how many of y'all on the Sabbath day take your ox to water? And they knew they did. But see, the most Pharisees and fried, they was under that law, and they was putting heavy loads on folks. Hallelujah. And they put it on you today if you don't know no, no, no better. Mm -hmm. They didn't tell you you can't get saved unless you do this. You only saved now by grace. And Jesus did it all Amen. for us. Now, if you don't believe that he died and was resurrected, you can't. Hallelujah, somebody. Watch it. Now, this, 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 this is here. They're talking to, to the, 
do they choose here telling them what they couldn't do? Watch it. He says, y'all got it? Now mine might read a little better, a little different from yours. It says, now as he sat on Mount Olive, the disciple came to him probably saying, tell us when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming of the end of the age? And Jesus answered said to them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive you. And you will hear wall, rooms of wall. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, a lot of people think that the end, not the end ain't yet. It's coming, but it ain't yet. It ain't yet. Now let's look at the 23rd chapter of Matthew and the 4th verse. Now these, these, now these people going to put heavy loads on you. Put heavy loads on you, you know, during Paul time. The people was putting heavy loads on the Gentiles, telling them, they had to do this. They had to do that. See, that's under the law. You ain't got to do none of that. Thank God. We we free in Jesus. Hallelujah. All we did accepted by faith. Now watch here. Talking about the Pharisees. He was talking to what they did to the doing to the people. And they ain't going to help lift none of it off of you. He says here. Start at the first verse of this chapter here, 23rd chapter of Matthew. Then Jesus spoke to the multitude, to his disciples, saying, The scribe and the Pharisees said in Moses' seat, they were on the law. All right? Therefore, whatever <laughs> they tell you to observe, that observe and do, but do not do according to their words. For they say and do not do. They say one thing. And do another. Mm -hmm. How do the, for they bind heavy burden, hard to bear, and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves would not move them with one of their fingers. But all their work they do to be seen by men. They make their, whatever that word is, broad and large the border of their garment. See, they're doing everything to be seen, to be heard. A lot of people like that. But they ain't going to do nothing to help lift that burden off of you because right. they can't. Only somebody can lift the burden off you is Jesus. Right. That's what he come for. Hallelujah. And a lot of people right now tell you, now these here people was on the law, and that's what he teaching law, telling them what they were doing to him, putting the heavy load. But Jesus said he came to lift that heavy load. I don't know what your load, your heavy load was, and we all was born sinners except Jesus. And thank God Jesus paid the debt for all our sin, all our sickness. He paid it for all. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Sickness and disease is a heavy load. God don't want you sick. Thank you. Hallelujah. The devil would want to bring that. He the thief. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. Hallelujah. And once we understand this and line up with it, say what the word said. Yeah, when you go to the doctor, they only can tell you facts. Mm -hmm. They really don't know. But thank God for the doctor. Amen. But there's another doctor. Another. Dr. Jesus. Yeah. Above all doctors. Hallelujah. 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 He got all things in his hand. He got all power in heaven and in earth. Hallelujah, somebody. So, so we have to operate in him by faith. By faith. But now most people don't. No, I don't believe it. Well, it ain't. if you don't believe it, it can't help you. Yeah. It can't help you. The devil always, you get a headache, you go, yeah, you can't have a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then somebody's going to tell you, I done told you to leave that salt alone. No, you're laying there laying on the word about them problems. Our right, word is a sin. Jesus already didn't tell you why worry. You know why he tell you that? Because he got everything in his hand. 
He got everything. That's why he wants you to put him first. He got your healing. He got your joy. He got your peace. He got it all. But you got to believe it. Yeah, we all have headaches sometimes. A lot of times, most of it is, <laughs> you got a bill over there, you don't know how you're going to pay it. But he, <laughs> but he know. He know. And then most of the time, why you can't pay it, you ain't did what you supposed to do. Hallelujah. But I'm not saying you like that, but people like that. But they don't cut my life so why? What you do with your money? You got to pay them folks. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't pay them, what they going to do? They ain't going to go keep going. They going to cut it off. Then you going to get mad. With who? You had the money to pay, but you went and did something else with it. Now you're hard. Well, who fought is it? It ain't God. It's not the devil either. The devil can't make you do nothing. You, you, you got to make up your mind. <laughs> now here the Lord then give you an invitation. He's going to take care of everything for you. Because most people today is on a lot of stress. Because if I had a little bit more money, uh, I had a better paying job, so I'm working two jobs, still broke. You ain't doing it this way. I don't care what you make. You can't buy joy. You can't buy peace. You can't buy healing. Because he said he did it. That's why ain't no use of you going around praying for nobody to get healed. It ain't going to work. You know why? He already done did it. That's right. And most folks don't look at it like that. Why would he come and do something he already done done? That's right. What you praying for? If what you need to start to doing, thanking him. Thanking him. Instead of telling, begging him all over and over again, you can beg him all you want, and it ain't gonna work. He did it one time. How many times Jesus died? One, one time. You know why? Because he didn't have to die at one time. Right. Under the law, them priests had to kill an animal every year. Every year. For our sin and for theirs. Yeah. Jesus did it one time. Yes. Yes. He healed That's you right. one time. Right. He saved you one time. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hmm. And we go around, listen to everybody, call you, 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 you stumble a little bit that they ain't home and you're drinking wine. Them folks were speaking in a different language. They said they were drunk. And Peter said, no, man, it ain't 9 o'clock yet. We ain't drinking no wine. <laughs> Power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. See, and people see you walking down the street, maybe it's you too tight. Then you stumble a little bit there. Oh, yes, she drank it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, oh, they do like they did Jesus. We caught in the act. So who they thought they were talking to one of the boys? Yeah, no. <laughs> you caught in the act. Yeah, we caught her. Huh. See, now see how Jesus deal with problems? And yeah. we learned this from Jesus. Mm -hmm. Somebody tell you. Call you a child, you hood, hood what? About so and so, they call him. Then you do like Jesus. You that sin? I bet you they shut up then. You ain't got to write nothing in the ground. They already know they sin. But they didn't figure you was going to say they want you to go along with them, running them down. We ain't got no authority to run nobody down. Right. Only That's Jesus. That's right. And Jesus handled it the right way. Because he come to save sinners. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And always remember that. Folk will always call you and tell you, child, have you heard they put it on Facebook, all the books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank God for Jesus. That's it. This is the six of six books with everything in it to help you if you do what it says. Start with the old to the new. Hallelujah. Thank God we got everything we need in Jesus. Get in the book. Start to doing what the book say. Practice it. You ain't got to do nothing else. He done did it all. And in closing here, turn to Colossians. Second chapter. I'm sure us. So talk to us now. They was under the law. We under grace. You got everything you need. 
Hallelujah, somebody. But you got to understand that now. You got to walk in that. Ain't no going around that people. You can't do this. And you can't do that. Lord Jesus. Well, I know nobody was slave when I came along, but we ate everything that was. <laughs> Lord, if we had it. <laughs> so, so we got to understand now who we are in Christ. See, now that we was talking under the law there, that was the gospel. And that's what John was teaching. He was the forerunner, making the way for Jesus. But see, John knew who Jesus was. He knew he wasn't the Messiah. <laughs> right. But he was making a way for him. But they didn't know that. They thought John was. But he told him, no, I'm just the forerunner. And that's all he is. All I am is a, I'm a forerunner. You're a forerunner. That's we right. minister for him. Yeah. So now we tell them now on the grace, you ain't got to do all that stuff. That's right. But a lot of people tell you, child, have you been baptized? In what? They baptize you in that water all you. <laughs> Every time you come and go to another church, uh, I want to come in with, I've been baptized, well, I want to get baptized again. <laughs> well, that ain't going to take away nothing. See, Jesus didn't tell Nicodemus that he had to be born in water. Mm -hmm. When he told him, he had to be born from above. <laughs> now watch it, Colossians 2. I'm, tell, I'm letting us know now, it's all been done for us. Okay. And I thank God. Start at verse 9. I ain't going to read it all. I'm just going to get down there and show us that we on the brace. You say you can't get saved at one time. Okay. You can't lose your salvation. You lose rewards. Okay. And I'll go around. Now you're not perfect. Now don't go around people talking about you, I say we all sin. But that's you don't it. practice sin. That's so that's right. a different. That's a different. God knows what we all do, so you can't fool him no time. And you ain't gonna fool people <laughs> long either. This is what the Bible said. Y'all got Colossians 2, 9. See, so yeah, everything been dead in Jesus. You see what the book say? He said, For in him dwelleth all the fooling of the Godhead bodily. In who? Jesus. In him. He did it all. That's right. In him. Huh? And you are complete in who? Pastor? In Christ. Yes. How, right. You are complete in him who the head of principality and power. He got authority over everything. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. And it was gave to him at the cross at the grave. Mm -hmm. He didn't have all power when he walked this earth. Mm -hmm. That's why he had to rely on the Holy Spirit. Because why? He was operating as a man. But when he died, hallelujah, somebody. And was resurrected. If Jesus just had to die and had to been resurrected, he wouldn't have had no power. No. Amen. He had to do both. He was that lamb. He had to die. And he didn't have no spots or nothing in him. Pure. Even under the law, they had they couldn't bring them old sick animals. They wouldn't they wouldn't work. No. <laughs> I, I see now, he, now, now see now, not legalism, but see Christ ain't no legalism with Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he fulfilled. He said in Him, you are you are all circumcised mm. with the circumcision made with thy hand. By putting off the body of sin, of the flesh, by circumcision of who? Christ. Christ. Under the law, it was talking about the full skin of the flesh. That's right. That, wasn't gonna, that ain't going to help you. Mm -hmm. Your heart. That's it. That's where the problem lies. Mm -hmm. There. Wasn't nothing wrong with being circumcised. Good for your health. There you go. Good for your body too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But see, God always uses nature to bring out a spiritual. If you ain't been circumcised by the blood of the Lamb, you lost. I don't care how much you come to church. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Huh? See, now he said, bear it with him. Now, this is the baptism that we got. That's it. Wasn't no water. This of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. He said, bear with him and baptism which, <laughs> which you also was raised with him through faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead. That's the baptism that would put us in Christ. Right. He and us and everything you need was dead at Jesus, with Jesus at the cross and at the grave. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Now watch right here now. He said, now before, watch it. And you being dead in your trespass and the uncertainty of your flesh, he has made a lie together with him, having for giving you how many? Oh. oh. Well, 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 all is all. All is all. When he said at that cross, it is finished. <laughs> all of that took care of that. But see, we so used to legalism, law, and all them rules and things, we still figure, well, oh, I know what time. We're going to take communion in a few minutes. A lot of people, I can't take no communion. I went out last night. Well, that, you stay home and sin. That's where you do most of your sin that anyway, home. You got your mind watching everything but the book. They ain't in the book. They ain't in the word. You got to renew your mind through the word of God. Not on no home book. What you call it. <laughs> see, see, we got to understand. <laughs> see, now he done did through that. All he done did everything for us. Now watch it, verse 14. Wiped. He done wiped. Don't y'all blot out stuff when you make a mistake? Mm -hmm. huh? You got them white out or whatever you got. You just messed up that check or whatever. Mm -hmm. Having wiped out the handwriting of the requirement that was against us, which was contrary to us, he has taken it out of the way, nailing it to who? His to the cross. cross. All your past, present, sin, everything, he did it at the cross. And once we get that and walk in that, you can have peace. You can have joy. Yes. Stop worrying about what people say. Worry about what Jesus done did That's for right. you. Come on, right. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. And that word, oh, they caught me. Well, you ain't got to go to the casino to sin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's your business. But God know. Yes. That's the one you got to answer to. But he didn't take care of everything for you. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to confess when you mess up. That's Hallelujah. Huh? I, he, 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 he didn't nail it to the cross. As he Look what he did. Have disarmed principalities and power. He made a public spectacle of them, triumphant over them in it. So let no one judge you in food. Now, I eat bacon. I eat ham. I ain't by myself. Mm -mm. But none of this in here ain't got nothing to do with your salvation. Right. That's the point that the reason why the law was given to the Jews, they supposed to have been different than the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. They supposed to have been the light to them. Mm -hmm. So the only thing they had then is certain things they weren't supposed to eat. Talking to the Jews, we're talking to you and I, because we have no cousin. Right. But now some of them things you shouldn't eat. I'm telling you. A lot of stuff, you know, that I'm telling you that 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 the way they cure that pork got a lot of salt. Mm -hmm. uh, you know a lot of that salt ain't good for you. You know that. But it tastes good. Mm -hmm. And now don't say you ain't gonna get it. Eat it. You was gonna eat a little bit now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And ain't nobody got to tell you. You're going to eat it anyway. Mm -hmm. When you go to the restaurant, that's on the menu before you get it. <laughs> <laughs> but see, we got what Paul's showing them, it ain't about what you do or what you don't do. It's about what he did. That's right. At the cross and at the grave. Yeah. That's how you got saved through what he did. That's right. How you think the thief got saved? Where was he at? On the cross. On the cross. And what, he, what, did, what did he get baptized in? Uh, huh? Not water. <laughs> no, they took him down. <laughs> well, that's what saved him. That's what saved you, the Spirit. The Spirit. 
That's why you have to be baptized from above. That's, right. That's what Jesus told Nicodemus. Nicodemus couldn't get it like most of them couldn't get it. You don't know nothing about no spiritual birth. All you know is natural birth. And that's why a lot of people don't never, won't never get saved because they don't believe that they can get saved by what Jesus did in the cross. You just accept it by faith. The Bible tells you in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and 10, you're saved by grace through faith. Not a work that any man should go. We are his workmanship. He made us righteous. Come on. All you did, they accepted it. Thank you, Lord. By faith. Mm -hmm. yes. And you can't say you don't have none. You do. That's right. Everybody will give the measure of faith. Right. Yeah. Talking about, well, I ain't got a great view, but it ain't about the great faith. It's about faith. Mm -hmm. Little faith, the mustard seed faith. It grows. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. And you're walking around there, hooping and hollering, going on. But, child, you know, I sure like to have me. Some of them shrimp will eat them. It ain't got nothing to do with salvation. It might have something to do with your health. But if you die early, you're going to be with the Lord. I hear a lot of folks say, I'm tired, Lord, call me home. Then he'll call you. But I ain't, I'm just telling you like it is. I ain't ready to go. I'm talking about me now. And I got a lot of problems, but I'm so glad he the problem solved. 120 for me, Lord. Thank you. That's what you said. That's what he said. It's in the book. And I'm going with the book. Now, y'all can go ahead on. I still run. Old man may be crawling, but I'm here. <laughs> Thank you, man. See, he done disarm all of that stuff. That we go around here hard and tired. And you see a lot of people that in them different religions, like the Muslim, they'll tell you, child, you have Well, health wise, my. But they ain't got nothing to do with your salvation. Okay. Not according to this book. Now you can do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now certain things, I don't want no more rabbits. I don't want no more coon. I don't want no more pots. But I ate them all. And I ain't by myself. A whole lot of folks, I ain't no, I ain't never seen me. They tell no lie. You had a rabbit trap. Tell no lie. You're going to squirrel. Squirrel is not coming and get in your lap. So they ain't got to worry about you putting them in the pot. <laughs> you let you let this you let this shelter and this food keep going on. You won't see no school. <laughs> Come by visit your house. What you cooking, bro? I got some. I got me some chicken. Yeah, you know you got a rabbit. <laughs> or you got school. Hey, but see here, here the book that you know you've been free from all of that stuff. That ain't got nothing to do with your salvation. A lot of folks don't pay, don't know how they get saved. Folks that left the church because I wouldn't baptize them in water. There's nothing wrong with it. But ain't no salvation in it. Jesus was setting the example. Now Jesus, you know Jesus, they have no sin in him. This it was symbolic. When you went down under the water, you had to merge. That's meaning you, you it's a death. You're killing the old. You're coming up new. But in the natural, you're coming up wet. A wet sinner. Why? Because you wasn't born of the Spirit. Right. It's the Spirit with that. Hallelujah. You're a new creature in Christ. And it ain't nothing you did but except what Jesus did at the cross. And we get ready to take the Lord's Supper. That's, that's why we take the Lord's Supper. Thank you. It was cause of what? Jesus did over 2,000 yeah. years ago. And I ain't trying to put nobody down. I'm talking to me too. Everything in this book is for me too. Don't ever forget that. If somebody trying to uh, correct you or might say things that you don't understand where they're coming from, uh, like I was talking to Pat when she called, I was glad to see you. And I might use a word like this, stranger. I use a lot of times. That doesn't mean I'm putting you down. It just I ain't seen you in a long time. I'm glad to see you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, we can take words and take it the wrong way, and then you get mad. Yeah. But all they're doing is letting you know, I'm glad to see you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I know a lot of us that said it to people, if you be honest. Yeah. Hallelujah. I got a habit, and I'm trying to get away from it. I got a habit calling other people's wife, baby. 
<laughs> it's a habit. I don't be meaning nothing about that, but see, some guys are taking it the wrong way. That's right. See what I'm saying? Words is very powerful. Yeah, but how are people taking and receiving? Yeah, so. Hallelujah. What I do, I do because I'm concerned about you, glad to see you. What if Jesus was to call you a stranger? Don't you know he said in the book, be careful how you entertain strangers. Underwear. Might be late. Underwear. What if the Lord, now it's in the Bible. If I call you a fool, how would you handle it? Now you think I'm putting you down. Don't you know Jesus called a man in the Bible a fool? And he was a fool. <laughs> <laughs> See, you see what I'm saying? He's in the book. So I'm only doing what my father say. If he can call you a fool, I can call you one. Especially when you're erring away from the word. He was doing things that couldn't help him. Mm -hmm. He was going to hell. I'm going to tear down these bonds and be me some new. Mm -hmm. I stole up my stuff. And the Lord said, if you fool, not tomorrow, tonight. This night. If I require thee, well, what, well, all that stuff you just told me, who, who gonna have it? You ain't got to make no will out. Somebody gonna get it. You ain't gonna take it with you. Why? You ain't bring nothing in. You ain't taking nothing out. You came in here naked. You going out naked. They might put an old suit on you or something like that. But the back cut out it so they tell me, I don't know. But you want to be with the Lord and you... You make preparation when you accept what Jesus did All by right, faith family. at that cross. You yeah. get the slave you won't ever get. But now you got to work out some stuff. It's already in you. Yeah. You know what that is? Love, yeah. joy, peace, long suffering. Is it every born again believer? It's in you. Fruit. You got the same power in you Jesus had in him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thanks, Lord. Hallelujah. That's why he. he he had to have the Holy Spirit while he's operating in the flesh. Mm -hmm. But he's full of God and full of man. Yeah. Hallelujah. He wasn't yeah. going no sinner. Because if Adam had to have something to do with him coming here, he would have. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So you see how good God is? Yeah. He got everything under control. Thank you. Yes, we just does. start to operate in it by faith and love. All right, everybody, all right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open the door to church and I'm going to. Bless the communion, and we will get ready to take the Lord's Supper. Thank everyone for coming. Uh, if everybody in here is saved, well, we won't have to do that. Mm -hmm. Quite sure everybody's saved. If you're not saved, this is your time. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm going to read a scripture here, a reason why uh, we take communion. A lot of people don't know why we take communion, and a lot of people won't take communion because they figure they ain't worthy. Ain't none of us. He made you worthy. Hallelujah. Now, here Jews had the devil, one of the twelve, up there, this is what he's talking about. But see, Jesus knew he had the devil in him. He took communion. He took communion. He wasn't qualified for it, but Jesus knew who he was. Well, who was in the work than Peter? He denied it. Yes, <laughs> But he still took communion. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So we got to understand God only one knows the heart. Mm -hmm. He knows you have good intention. But by being in a fallen world, we do error. And that's why he got 1 John 1 9 in the Bible. <laughs> if we confess our sin, he faithfully just to forgive you, cleanse you from all unrighteousness. All right. First one written, 11 chapter, verse 23 through 26, it says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. That's why you take the bread as a, as a remember remind of what he did. Now that's me, his body. That was broken. In the same manner, he also took the cup 
after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant. In my blood, this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Hallelujah. Most gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this day that you has made. We will rejoice and be glad. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Father, for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for being God in our life. We thank you, Father, for the faith of you. We realize, Lord, that you have all power in your hand, nothing too hard for you. And, Lord, I just thank you for what you have done for me, Lord. Thank you for everyone here. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, that having that unconditional love for us, Father, we all miss the mark sometimes, but I thank you, Lord, that you died for the whole world. And you said, whosoever believe in you shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. And Lord, I thank you today. Lord, touch the one that's not here, the one that might want to be here and can't be here. Lord, remember our leaders of this country, of this world, oh, God. Touch every family, touch yes. the sick, shut in everywhere. In your son Jesus' name we pray, amen.